welcome to another Earth Engine tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a master dataset stored locally on your computer to the map so that you can use those dataset together with Earth Engine data. Okay, let's get started. To follow this tutorial, you need to um, install the GMAP Python package and uh, you can also download the noble example uh, from my github repo so you can go to my um, github and then examples notebooks it should be uh, number 25 uh, low rosters so once you get to this page um, you can for example click uh, uh, this button uh, raw and then from here you can right click save as then you can save this one to your computer. For example, I'm going to save this one to the downloads folder and just hit save. So if you open your um, computer, now you should have this one uh, located within uh, the folder. And let me go back to um, here just to show you um, what are the required packages uh, that you need in order to follow this tutorial. So. Um, you can use uh, Conda to create a Conda environment and then activate the environment and after that you can use this uh, install the member uh, member package um, it's much better than the Conda uh, because sometimes if you have some packages that have a lot of dependencies it might take a long time to actually to install the package so if you install this one and then we can use a uh, member to install uh, gmap and uh, x array leaflet so these are the two uh, required uh, packages if you go to this one uh, in here and once you install uh, all the packages then we can um, uh, get started so let me come back to here and um, open the, the terminal so since I already installed the uh, Conda environment and all I need to do is Conda activate and then GE after that you can just copy the notebook so it's open a browser and from there I'm going to navigate to downloads and then from here let's open this one okay so this is what um, we have and first of all you need to import the packages right and once you import the packages for example i can create an interactive map let me add this one in here so for example map equal to ge map dot map and then we can display the map in here once we have the map you can um this tutorial uh, is focused on loading uh, local raster data sets but you can certainly um, load those engine data set first if you want so in this case I'm going to click the, uh, the globe uh, icon here and then data so um, I can for example I can try DM um, digital elevation model from here we can select any data set uh, how about this one it's RTM right and then we can just hit import then it should uh, generate a new code cell here all we need to do is just to hit run or e is not defined so we can um come back to here import ee let's run again and run this one again now we save the data set so this is the uh, global dm right similarly we can add some other data set uh, for example lane cover right and once you have the length cover we can add anyone so how about this one uh, usgs uh, gap data again import and then one click this one so you will see here now we have this um entire data set add to um the earth engine um, maps in here so these two layers uh, come from the Earth Engine um, data catalog. Sometimes, if you have some low uh, rosters uh, stored on your local computer, you might want to also add to the map so that you can compare 
your um, local raster data set with Earth Engine data. And this is what we are going to do. So um, if you don't have any data set, you can um, download some sample data sets in here. So first of all, we need to specify the file path. Okay, so um, I'm going to use my uh, downloads folder. And so within the downloads folder, I'm going to have the two images. Uh, the first one called lenset.tif, the other one called dm. Okay, so all you need to do is set this one. Since we don't have the files in here yet, if you already have the file, we can directly, for example, if you, have, you know where the file is located, you can directly use the absolute path and, and just change this one and change this one. So, and then you don't have to download. But I'm going to show you here example. So since I don't have the file, I'm going to hit one. Uh, it's going to automatically download the file. Okay, so you see here, I download this one, uh, only 10 megabyte. Similarly, I can download the DM. And again, uh, it's in here. Let me put this one uh, in here. Once we have these two uh, files, um, then we can uh, add this to the map so because we already create a map and uh, we don't really need this line in here let me comment out this one so all we need to do is just to add um, those two raster data sets to the map okay so we have two variables dm and lane set so the dm is one band is a single band raster the lens set is multi-spectral bands, so it has uh, seven bands uh, in this image. So let's just um, just hit one, and this is one both of them first, and let's show the map uh, again in here. Um, and if you turn on the layer in here, let's turn off these two just to make it more clear, right? So now you have these two data sets uh, loaded onto the map, and this is the DM this one here is the lens set data so you can turn this on and off certainly and these are the um post engine data so these two layers comes from um, your computer and then you can overlay these two together so next let's talk about how uh, how you can customize um the color map okay so if you see from this one here uh for the uh, lens set Okay, so this is five seven uh, three. Um, you can also change the uh, bank combination. For example, four three two. If you run again, um, you see here now it changes to post color composite, right? You can also change to maybe three two one, and this will be uh, natural color uh, composition, right? You change to to one right it become a little bit darker similarly by the way so this is this the lens is multi-spectral band so you don't use the color map uh basically you, you, you the color map is for single band raster only okay so and for this one here um we use the color map called terrain but you can also customize so for example you can change to a uh, gray color and you see here now it changed to uh, gray color. There are lots of uh, color maps you can you can you can choose. So if you like, you can click the link and go here. Then if you scroll down, so these are the names that you can use, right? So and um, there are lots of uh, options for you to choose, right? So similarly, right? This is the one called terrain, but you you are welcome to change to others. For example, rainbow. Okay, how about rainbow? Come back to here. Rainbow, right? And you can quickly change to rainbow. Uh, uh, any other one you want to change? How about this one, ocean? Okay, so you can also Right, so you see it's instant. It's uh, very, very uh, responsive. So this is how you can um, load the raster dataset from your computer onto the map. If, if you want um, more DMs, you can go to this link. You can download some other DMs uh, uh, for the US or around the globe. So this is the uh, USGS national map. Um, you can 
download any data set you want so let me show you one example uh, you can go here and if there's anything you like i can on the left here you click edit version data set oh by the way so uh, right now um, the add raster function only support wgs84 so if you have custom uh, my uh, projections uh, it might not work uh, properly so it makes sure that you convert the projection to wgs84 uh, basically it's uh, epsg4326 and um, that's the only one we might support projection in the future but for now uh, it's only wgs84 so let's come back to here and let's download some dm um, for just uh, demonstration purpose i'm going to download just a cost resolution now uh, one arc uh, second and for example you can uh, zoom anywhere here and after you uh, choose the location then you can use the file product okay and from here you will see that uh, there's one um, em available i can show the footprint in here i can also show the thumbnail right so you can just download this one uh, and um, it's uh 57 um megabyte so it's uh, not too big and you see from here now all we need to do is just change the name so in this case um okay it's done and all we need to do make sure that you have this name and then come back to the um, roster here right and all we need to do is just to change this one okay so but similarly we can just uh, we can create a, a, another one so i can add a new uh cell in here so i can say for example this is like um tiff file equal to right and we're going to use the same right os pass stop up because it's under the um downloads folder right so all we need to do is change the name to the last that we just downloaded and from here copy and then change this one right dot, 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 dot. and we can execute this one then all we need to do is just to similarly map dot add um raster right and then parentheses so the first one will be the the file so it'll be tiff file right and then we can change the color map similarly i'm go going to use the terrain and then you can define the layer name so this can be for example uh us um NET, national elevation data set okay and let's execute this one okay so now you have this one in here right so this is the one that we just downloaded and you can instantly instantly load this one uh, to the map as well so very very um easy just download and uh, if you have more data set you can mosaic them together and then just uh, specify the file pass then use the add um, raster function again you can change to for example uh, gray color then it's going to change to gray color right you can change to uh, rainbow right very very easy to customize okay are uh, there anything else and that's all for this uh tutorial uh, if you enjoy this tutorial uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel you can also leave comments down there hope to see you in my next video take care bye bye mm -hmm.